Hey, what's up, good people? <clears throat> How you doing? Welcome to Stock Up with Larry Jones. For those of you that are new, you know, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, notification bell. Make sure you check all. I'm gonna try to just get right to the point and keep this one short on this Sunday uh, morning. Uh, listen, we had all kind of data that came out. CPE, uh, PCE, uh, we had uh, consumer sentiment that came out. Uh, we see that you know, inflation is still sticky. Um, we we see what's going on with the job market. We see what's going on with the housing market. Uh, you know, all of the alphabets, CPE, you know, you elemental P, all of that is going on. And, and they keep trying to get a handle on inflation with all of these data points that come out. The market goes up and down in reaction and um, I just want to talk about some long-term things that we need to concentrate on right now. So um, my grandbaby is finna get in the car and uh, we're here at Starbucks getting her a little breakfast uh, and she's going to church with me this morning. Come on in. And um, so I was just really thinking about this. So we're here at Starbucks. Lean in and say, what's up? What's up? <laughs> and uh, so she's at Starbucks and I just wanted to say this. And, you know, everybody that's out there just trying to get the hot plays, the next plays and all of that, um, um, you know, even for those of you that are in the discord that are killing it with all of the hot plays, though last week was a tricky week, we still made money. Um, but I just wanted to say this. If you really, really, really start to set up your foundation right this season that we're in right now in the stock market will be a great season. It will be a great season for you down the road. And what I mean by, so like for instance, um, she just bought this sandwich, right? Right? Let me taste that. I did that because I, I wanted to make sure it was okay for you, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I'm consuming pop, I'm consuming Starbucks, but I own Starbucks. And even when the market goes up and down, I still own Starbucks. You're watching this, I'm filming this on the new iPhone. I didn't get the last one, but I got this new one. But you know what? I bought some more Apple uh, just Friday, uh, just yesterday. I bought some more Apple. I bought some more Google. Why? I'm on YouTube and Google owns YouTube. Do you guys get what I'm saying? For those of you that don't have any um, foundational blue chip companies that's not going away of the goods and services, the companies of the goods and services that we consume is what we need to own. When I go to Walgreens to get whatever, when I go there and I see people standing in line and I'm thinking they are putting money in my pocket long term. Now, we may be on a downtrend in some of these stocks. So what? Three, seven, ten years from now, it's not going to make a bit of much difference because I consume, I own the companies of the goods and services that I consume, and I'm encouraging you guys to do just the same. And if you don't, then I'm just going to keep saying it: buy the overall stock market, buy the S and P 500. Because in the long run, you're not going to outperform it. So here's the homework for today. And then we'll just go into what I think is going to happen next week. The homework for the day is I want you to look around your house and I just want you to look at your receipts. And I want you to think about everything that you consume monthly. And I want you to see if it's a publicly traded company. Do they offer shares? And I want you to see, is it a good company first? What's the addressable market? Is it likely to get bigger or smaller? If it's likely to, likely to get bigger or continue to grow, then I want you to consider buying some stock in that company of the goods and services that you consume. If it's car companies, make it, car, make it a car company. If you plan on getting a Tesla, then I want you to look at Tesla. now. Let me just speak about Tesla for a minute. I think that remember 
um, last year when it hit 100, it hit 101, and it bounced and it looked like it was going down to, to like 78 levels of support, but it didn't. So I think that now 200 is the new 100 with Tesla. I think that's a psychological level of support and it will bounce. So what you can do is buy some. You guys saw I bought some and sold uh, two thirds of it and kept a third of it, right? Now it's it was it's actually lower than I, what I bought it before. So I'm gonna buy a little more, probably on Monday or the next pullback. Yeah, I think it's gonna it could come down to 190, but I'm not gonna wait until it come down to 190. I'm not gonna wait until the perfect. I have a buy order at 190, but I'm also buying some now in little pieces, okay? And so I want you guys to think about your positions and let's, let's not wait until it gets to, on these long-term plays, let's not wait until it gets to our exact point or our, our exact dollar amount. Here's what I think is gonna happen. I think we may have a, um, I think we may, Monday, we could have a, 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 a slight bounce back. This is just a, a guess, okay? It could, it could tank. This is just a guess. But I think that we will have more downward pressure towards the middle and end of the week. Uh, that's just a guess based on what's going on right now. We don't know anything could happen with the geopolitical situation, but it just looks like we, we sold off a lot and we could have a Monday and or Tuesday, it could come back strong, not strong, but a little bit. And I think as more data comes out, we're gonna go back down. That's what I think, it's gonna be a volatile week. So, you know, look out for those of you that are doing options, look out for the cues. Um, I like to trade the cues uh, with options, but there's things that we need to look at, like Google, I bought some more Google because it's in a price range that I like. And, you know, in spite of the talking heads, some say we have a recession coming in Q4. We are in Q4. And um, some say we could, uh, you know, end the year higher on the S&P. I think we, we probably could end the year higher. So I'm buying some positions based on a short-term swing play, right? And then if it just bottoms out, if we do enter a recession, and I'm gonna to add to my positions, right? And, and on those, I have some stop losses set. Now this is separate from my $5 a day, my, my DCA that I've been doing for years, okay? So I just wanted to keep that straight. I'm going to um, um, be monitoring the, the market um, early Monday. I may go live Monday, early Monday uh, morning and uh, then do my regular Monday. It depends on what the market is doing. I'm gonna be up watching the pre-markets, okay? All right, so uh, you guys know it's Sunday um, um, and uh, we are on our way to church. She killed that sandwich, all right? So uh, we are on our way to church and you guys know I am, uh, I am a, an, I like to inspire, okay? And I do an inspirational. So I'm gonna keep this one straight to the point. There's a thing called glimmers, you know, glimmers. So like just glimmers. And I believe that's it, glimmers. And it just talks about little short moments of gratitude, glimmers. And I want you guys to do like I do. I have what's called glimmers. Now, I, I pulled my lower back moving some weight equipment around, way more weight than I should have been moving by myself. It, uh, two guys brought it in and I moved it myself. And, uh, and so I had a heat pad on my back and I was in pain and then right in the middle of the night, I had a heat pad on it and the pain just kind of ceased for a moment. And I was just thankful in that moment. And uh, I encourage you to be thankful in the little things. I don't care if it's starting your car. I don't care if it's, you know, sitting in your favorite room in your house or eating your favorite meal or just sitting on your deck and just watching a beautiful sunset. We got the fall here in the Midwest. The leaves are coming down and I have a pretty tree in, in my backyard that I just look. And if you don't have a pretty tree and you don't have a yard, look at your neighbor's tree, look at your neighbor's yard. And uh, just be thankful for little things, right? Because we don't want to just look at and focus on the destination. We want to enjoy the ride. So I encourage you, have a thankful heart. 
Uh, God loves a thankful heart. He, he rewards a thankful heart and be thankful for other people. So just little glimmers, little moments, little things that bring you joy. Like this little cute girl here. She brings me joy. <laughs> That's my grandbaby. She brings me joy. <laughs> she wiping my kiss off. Y'all know how they get when they turn preteens. Oh, orange juice. Okay. So, so just be thankful for the little things that bring you joy and don't worry about. Don't be stressed out about things that you cannot control. 83% of the things that most people worry about never come to pass. And so just be thankful. Remember, for those of you old heads, remember that old song, Diamonds in the Back, Sun Rooftop, Digging the Scene with a Gangsta Lean. <laughs> just be thankful for what you have. And, he, and the song says, you may not even have a car at all, but just be thankful for what you have. So today I want you to, guys to take a minute and tell God thank you for all the many blessings that he has bestowed upon you. I don't care what your problems are. I, it, I don't care what your problems are. There is a ton of things for you to be thankful for. And so I want you to shut everything off and just take a minute and tell God thank you, okay? And um, I believe he's going to continue to bless us all. I'm gonna continue to come with you guys with the best that I have, all right? Have a blessed day today, and let's pray that the Bears win, <laughs> all right? All right, good people, we love you. Live, love, laugh. Learn. And learn. All right, say the whole thing. Live, love, laugh, and learn. All right, we'll see you later, good people. Love you.